Right, sweet corn fritters. I've got 150 ml of plain flour, uh, salt and pepper and three eggs in the bowl. I'm going to beat all this to make a batter. I've got 100 grams of peas and 100 grams of sweet corn. So I'm going to cook those in the microwave for two minutes and then drain them off. I've got about eight uh, sun-dried tomatoes that I've cut into small pieces and some vegetable oil for frying and 200 ml of milk. That should be enough to make a batter. So, we'll get this as smooth as we can. Just the eggs and the flour, and then add a little milk. And a bit more milk. So we'll keep on like that until all the milk's added in. What we should have in the end is a smooth butter. Put more milk. It's all mixed in now, so I'm going to finish it off with about 75 ml of water. Right, the peas and sweet corn are cooked, so we're going to tip those in. And the sun-dried tomatoes. Those will give a lovely intense flavour. So that's the mix now ready to fry. So we're going to fry it in just spoonfuls. So we're just going to put spoonfuls into the pan. This is the fritter mixture. So we'll have to fry these in batches. And when they're browned on one side, we'll flip them over and cook the other side. So we're going to carry on like that now until all the fritters are cooked. These are the sweet corn fritters I've made with that mixture. Altogether, it's made 25. So I think you'll agree there's plenty there for four people. You can serve it with whatever you like, maybe a bit of salad or uh, some baked beans perhaps. I don't know, but they are absolutely delicious. Uh, pure comfort food. Okay, so you, you can see how easy those are, a child could make them.